Hi, this is Mike from Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To, and on today's video, we're taking a look at the uh, extra CPU usage in MSI Center, and more particularly, a specific file or program called CC underscore engine underscore x64. Now, if you're a MSI motherboard user, or maybe you've just got an MSI product and you're taking advantage of using MSI Center, which overall, generally, I feel is pretty good, but with that aside, you're probably finding every now and then, if there's an update, or maybe you've just installed it straight away on a brand new system, you may be caught out by this, and that's the extra CPU usage, which actually happens from MSI Center. Now, I'm not entirely sure why it is. It looks like it seems to be a thing with the actual CC underscore engine underscore X64 version. Now, I've got two MSI computers running, both reasonably similar, both running MSI Center. One has got one version, one has got another, and that one runs absolutely fine. This one runs absolutely terribly. So we're using about 10% of the CPU resources, which obviously in turn gives you extra heating, etc. And if you're on a system which is quite compact or is quite, kind of near the edge thermally, that extra CPU resources can make your system overheat and basically make it for a terrible laggy experience. So let's go over to the computer now and I'll show you how to potentially remedy it. Now there's two ways of doing it, one of which I won't be showing in this video and the simplest way generally is to update MSI Center or potentially uninstall it completely and reinstall it from another location. Now you can get it from various locations. The two that I would choose to use myself personally is obviously MSI Center, the website itself, or for the motherboard that you've actually got. So go to your motherboard page at msi.com forward slash whatever country you're in, find your board, go into utilities and you can download the latest version. Now also as well on that page, you will find a uninstaller as well can be very handy just so you can wipe out all the settings just to make sure you're starting from scratch. So definitely updating the version, uninstalling the old one, put the new one on can be very helpful and can remedy this altogether. Now another way of doing it is to go to the Microsoft Store, just type in MSI Center and you can download it from there. We've done it before in videos, uh, we'll try and link one for installing MSI Center previously. It's pretty straightforward, type it in, download it, install it, job done. But if you're having problems, keep watching because we're going to find out how to uh, how to remedy it, or at least temporarily until the next version comes along. So this is our AM5 system. And as you can see currently, I've got hardware monitor open. So we're monitoring our CPU core temperatures here and the package temperatures. As you can see, currently we're running at 46.5, which actually is about six, seven degrees hotter than it would normally be. Although saying that, it's hot in the UK at the moment anyway, so uh, everything's running a little bit warmer. But realistically, this should be around about 40 degrees Celsius. Now, in order to get up Task Manager, Windows 11, right click on the start icon, and you can choose Task Manager. This will bring up all your processes. So you've got processes, performance, etc. So choose processes, and then you can actually sort them by what is using the most CPU resources. And currently, as you can see, CC underscore engine underscore X64 is basically top of the list using far more resources than anything else on the computer. So if you right click, you can find out this is actually from Microsoft and it resides in the program files x86 forward slash MSI forward slash MSI center forward slash engine folder. It's only a small file, 8.34 megabytes, but there are different versions of it which are available. If we go into the details tab, you can see which version is currently installed. So at the moment, currently, this is version 3.0.0.55. So yeah, that gives you the information there. So you can always check your version, see which version you have. Now what I've done is I've actually taken a version from my other computer, which is running absolutely fine. And I've actually put that onto a USB drive, transferred it onto my desktop. Now I am gonna actually put this onto our Discord chat. So if you do need to get this file, because you can't get hold of an old version for whatever reason, then we will be hosting this file. It is an MSI file, but we will host it for those that need it actually on our Discord. So if you go along, join, agree to the membership, et cetera, et cetera, go into the tech support channels, you'll find it pinned in one of the channels. Again, if, uh, if you're not too sure, just ask and someone will point you in the right direction. So we will be putting it there if you do need it. Otherwise, like I said, get it from MSI directly or from Microsoft, et cetera, et cetera. But you're probably asking, well, okay, that's great. I've got the file. I know which one it is. How do I actually replace it? So it's actually relatively straightforward. So let's go and do that now. So the first thing you want to do is to close MSI Center. So if you can find the actual tab or the program, just click on exit. Now you can actually do it from here. So you can just 
find MSI Center in your list of programs and do end task, but however you choose to do it is entirely up to you. The next one to do is the CC Engine, find this. If you're not too sure, you can sort programs, but obviously it's gonna be at the top if you do the CPU usage one anyway, so right click on this one and choose end task. Now we should find almost immediately our CPU usage is gonna drop down quite considerably, which it already seems to have. And if we take a look over at hardware monitor, we'll see our package temperature is dropping significantly already. So yeah, we're in the uh, the very low 40s. We may dip down as low as 39C, which is what I would expect to see with my existing cooling setup. Anyway, that's uh, for me to worry about, nothing for you to worry about. So now you're probably thinking, well, okay, that's great. CPU stuff is back to normal. My uh, usage is great. How do I replace the file? So what we're gonna do is to uh, grab our file here. So you do have to copy it onto your computer. So you can't just use it on a flash drive or an external drive like a, a NAS drive or something. It actually has to be on your computer, ideally like somewhere at a desktop, that works for me. If not, when you try and paste it into the right folder, it'll say you don't have access. So do bear that in mind. So I'm gonna right click on this. I'm gonna choose copy. And now we need to go into the right location. So open up your file explorer, go into your hard disk drive, then you want program files x86, and then you want MSI, MSI center, and engine. So in this section here, we can see there is already a file here. So we could, if you want to, you can basically just paste it in here and it'll say, do you want to overwrite the file? You can do that if you want to. What I would suggest doing, just to be on the safe side in case something goes wrong, is to actually rename this file. Now you can't rename this file until uh, Windows is not using it. So that's why we did the end task earlier. So I'm gonna call this now cc underscore engine underscore x64 underscore old and hit enter. And it will say you need to provide administer permission. Yes, we will do that. So that is that done. So now what we can do is we can right click, copy and paste into here. Again, because of where it's going, you need to provide administrator permissions. So I'm gonna click on continue. And there we go. So now when we reboot the computer and the MSI center fires up all of its dependencies, it will fire up cc underscore engine underscore x64, the version we've just pasted in, which is actually version uh, 3.0.052. And the old version, if we roll the mouse over it, is version 5.5. So it seems the newer version currently does have some issues with it. Generally, these things will get patched if enough people complain about it to MSI, which they generally do, which is why they roll out updates. So potentially you can do it from there. Another thing as well, like I said, if you want to get hold of the, uh, the MSI software, you can just go to a motherboard. So we're gonna go to the B550 Gaming Plus. If you head over to the support tab for the motherboard of you're using, and then you can go into utility scroll down through, so you've got MSI Center, so you can download whichever version is available there. Also, this section here, there is actually a download, which is uh, to basically completely remove MSI Center, which that might be useful as well, should you need to, if there's other corrupted files. Hopefully you won't need to remove it entirely, because it's actually quite a good little app, but uh, it can be a pain when it's using too much CPU resources. So after this, when you're done, just do a quick reboot, and you'll find that your system is considerably quieter, considerably cooler, and is using less CPU resources, which is always a good thing, especially when it's bloody hot in the room. Anyway, so there we go. We've got our CPU temperatures down considerably. Happy days. So there we go, relatively straightforward thing to do. Just make sure you follow all the steps. Sorry, it's a long video. I could have truncated this massively to make it a very short thing and just say, all right, copy this file into this folder. But there's always gonna be people that are asking extra questions and wanna know why they're doing it or what is going on. So that is why these videos are slightly longer. Now, I will put some timestamps in the video description below. So if you wanna check those out, please feel free to do so. And obviously, if you just want the raw information, you can go straight to it. But ideally, as with everything, it's better to learn as you go and uh, yeah, going through the steps and working out why you're doing what you're doing will help you definitely as you go on with other computer things which will inevitably go wrong at some point. Anyway, I'm definitely waffling now, so I'll wrap this one up. Hopefully you've enjoyed the video. If you have, smash the like button. If you want to see more content than this, hit the subscribe button and the chime notification and you'll be notified of future video releases. Or as always, don't forget, head over to the Discord if you want to grab the files, which uh, we'll try and post there in one of the tech support rooms. I think that's gonna wrap things up. I'll be Mike, this is Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To, and hopefully we'll catch you 
in the very next video. Thanks for watching.